Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Vicente Luque. 22 wins, 9 losses, 1 draw. 3-2 uh, and two in his last 5 fights, 1-2 and two in his last 3. 32 years old, 5'11", with a 76-inch reach. Fighting Joaquin Buckley, New Monza, 17-6, 3-2 in his last 5 fights. 2-2 two two in his last 4, 2-1 two in his last 3. 29 years old, he'll be 30 in about a little over a month. 5'10 with a 76-inch reach. 1 inch in height for Luque. Again, this is not the silent assassin Vicente Luque. Otherwise, this fight is not a, it, it's not a fight. I'm sorry. I know Joaquin has big power. Vicente Luque, before the Jeff Neal fight, was an absolute assassin. Assassin. The beatdown he would have put on Joaquin Buckley, it would have, it was wild. Though, now, post brain bleed i didn't like how he was reacting against rda with the strikes it, it didn't look good um he's now a grappler unless for some reason he comes back in this one and strikes but okay uh strikes landed per minute 5.17 to 3.87 luke accuracy is 52 to 33 absorbed 5.15 3.31 the one thing i can tell you about absorbed vicente luke cannot absorb five to three five you know he can't absorb five strikes from joaquin buckley he can't be super hittable is what i'm trying to say because the power that joaquin does have it will be an accumulation it will be okay i can take these i can take these i can take these shit i can't take it i'm hurt you know defense 52 to 57 take down average 1.04 to 1.51 accuracy 60 percent for third to 36 Take on defense is 62 to 65. Now, again, there is a way that Vicente can mix in his strike. He mix in his knees and in, in, uh, win this fight. The issue is, if it was before Jeff Neal, Vicente Luque, with his, his great pressure-heavy style, with a lot of output, would be able to take the punches from Buckley, but give his own this thing buckley is a guy that we've seen be finished before at a numerous amount of times jeff neal is the only guy that has finished vicente luque i think joaquin buckley because he does hit so hard will be able to create chaos in this match i think buckley wins a decision i don't think he finishes luque just because luque is not going to want to be strike want to be hit or whatever but I think Buckley does enough with his big power, with his striking, to kind of deter Vicente Luque moving forward, you know, trying to get on the inside, look for takedowns. I think Buckley wins this. It might not be a great decision or be a great fight because Luque is not going to want to uh, engage in the striking matchup with uh, Buckley. But I think Buckley gets the job done. It hurts my soul because I'm not really a fan of Joaquin Buckley. I just think he's fucking overrated. He's a cocky little asshole. I'm happy to see him get knocked out if he can do it. But as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. Peace.